Miracles Boys, 2000, by American author Jacqueline Woodson delves into the world of a seventh grade boy grappling with the recent loss of his mother. The novel earned the 2001 Coretta Scott King Award, bestowed upon the finest book primarily intended for African American youth readers. Woodson, a notable writer, secured the National Book Award for Children's Literature in 2014 for her work, Brown Girl Dreaming. Within Miracles Boys, powerful themes of guilt, emotional wounds, gang violence, and fraternal affection are explored. Despite unfolding across a mere 48 hours, the novel employs impactful flashbacks to offer a comprehensive account of the orphan Bailey brothers. The story is narrated by Lafayette Bailey, affectionately called Laugh, a 12-year-old haunted by his mother's demise. He witnessed her pass away due to an adverse insulin reaction, she was diabetic, and he discovered her in a comatose state. While everyone acknowledges he couldn't have saved her, he remains burdened by self-blame for her death. Laugh lives in constant dread that his remaining family, his two older brothers, will also abandon him, just as his mother did. The trio's family background is a mix of their mother, who hailed from Puerto Rico, and their African-American father, born in Brooklyn, New York. Laugh's connection to his mother endures through his pursuit of her language, Spanish, and his careful examination of her photographs. Her name, Miracle, lends the novel its title. Laugh sometimes imagines glimpses of his mother and engages in imagined conversations with her. At 22, Tyree Bailey feels a tinge of resentment for forsaking a MIT scholarship to care for his brothers full-time. He had aspirations of working for NASA. Like his younger brother Lafayette, Tyree grapples with his own experience of death. During his childhood, Tyree witnessed his father, named Lafayette, save a white woman and her dog from drowning in an icy lake in Central Park. His father succumbed to hypothermia in the process. Tyree still carries the weight of immense guilt for his father's death. As a young boy, he was the one who urged his father to rescue the woman. The return of the middle child, 15-year-old Charlie Bailey, nicknamed Cha, to live with Tyree and Lafayette brings about challenges. Charlie, who spent the past two years in a juvenile detention center after being found guilty of an armed robbery at Poncho's candy store, presents a changed demeanor. Surprisingly, Charlie somehow managed to obtain a gun during the incident. Charlie's reaction to his brother's attempts at bonding is a mix of annoyance and thinly veiled contempt. His preference is to spend time with his friend Aaron, rather than engage with his younger brother. The past two years have significantly transformed Charlie, to the point that Lafayette can barely recognize him, leading Lafayette to refer to him as New Charlie. Lafayette reflects that Charlie used to include him in everything, teaching him to avoid stereotyping others and entertaining him with a variety of stories. Charlie was known for rescuing stray animals as well. However, his current demeanor is often marked by anger. New Charlie disrupts the tranquil life that Tyree and Lafayette had cultivated during his absence. With a sense of worldly weariness, he ranks various ethnic groups based on his experiences in juvenile detention, categorizing them as the baddest. Charlie has learned to suppress his emotions to adopt a tough facade, emulating the peers he admires. He even resists saying brother to brother, a code taught by Tyree as a way to express affection, mirroring I love you. Lafayette remains eager to have Charlie back in their lives. He fears that if Charlie faces another criminal conviction, he might be barred from residing with them, resulting in foster care placement. Without Charlie, Lafayette's connection to his past world, including his mother, will be forever severed. As Charlie makes his return to the neighborhood, he faces a crucial decision, whether to continue associating with the street gang that led him into committing the armed robbery or to honor his mother's memory by becoming a reliable and supportive brother to Laugh and Tyree. Throughout much of the novel, it seems that Charlie might opt for the gang. Following an afternoon of mixed interactions with Laugh, Aaron, and Charlie eventually leave the apartment. While Laugh sits watching TV, his thoughts wander. He reflects on the memory of his mother witnessing Charlie in handcuffs, knowing that this was the last image she had of him. The turning point in the narrative occurs when Laugh, after discussing Charlie's disregard for him with Tyree, follows Tyree's advice and initiates an open conversation with Charlie. Through his openness, Laugh creates a space for Charlie to confront his own feelings honestly. Miracle's Boys concludes with the two brothers mending their once strong bond. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.